And hello again, Internet. Well, a little bit of a delay there getting started today because the audio in this was not working. It's been a while since I've done the capture device here. As you can see, I'm hooked up to my PlayStation 2 again because, yeah, we're, we're going to be playing a PS2 game today. That's been a while since I've done consoles. And uh, this is one that I'm not sure people even remember that well. Or one that I actually kind of want to play, to be entirely honest. Um, not really a fan of the older versions of these games. And I kind of have a feeling, see, look at this, uh, no save game, no data here. Yep, that's correct. There is a memory card in the slot. Does not have it, so we'll go ahead and press start to with the default setup. Assuming it lets me. There we go. Yeah, we're doing Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Because it is the game that came out between 3 and 4. And it's kind of a mainline game. Kind of not. And I'm curious to see how it looks, how it plays. Again, I'm not really a fan of... The old style Resident Evil games, the way they play just never sat well with me. I did not enjoy a Resident Evil game. I mean, I did play the GameCube remake of the first one, which I liked that one okay, but even then, the way I really liked it was when I did the glitch to get infinite rocket launcher ammo, or grenade launcher ammo. Then it became fun. Now, you have seen me play through them on the PC, the remakes, uh, the remake of, I mean, I played through Zero, I played through the HD remake of One, which is basically a, a higher scale GameCube version. The amazing remake of Two, holy crap. The not so amazing, but still entertaining remake of Three, although apparently it kind of did bad things for Three. All right, that's correct. Everything should be good here. And, well, I have four and five and six and a bunch of others on Steam. The remake of four should be coming out next year. Rather than do those right away, I figured let's go ahead and try one of these side games out. Like I said, I have no idea about this one, so well, let's, let's get it started. Ooh. All right, so everything should be working. You guys should have sound and everything now. That was giving me problems, as it wasn't doing any sound at first. Yes, yes it was. So that's Resident Evil 2. But your ordeal is only a prelude of things to come. I, I, months later. Genuinely, the remake of 2. You should get that game. It is so good. And I'm going into this one knowing basically nothing. So... Yeah, I've not seen this game. I'm about the only thing I know about it. Shame there's no subtitles, huh? Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. Why would you do that? Oh, is this... Well, this is three months later, so it's well after the events of two. Especially if this happened 10 days ago. That means it happened well after 2. So what the hell were you doing, Claire? Also, why on earth does the Umbrella Corporation have a gunship? Oh, that is some unfortunate effects. Those were very unfortunately large and blocky. The characters look fine in this. The animation looks fine for this. But... And, like, even that looks... Okay, the, the outside one looks a lot better than the inside. Like, those environmental destructions are not looking good at all. 
Yeah, I, I don't know how loud it is for you. I got my vote. Oh, okay. You went the wrong way. These guys don't look so good. Get your finger off the trigger. Uh, yeah, no. Like, if you were going to do something like that, you just quickly drop your hand and shoot. You don't drop the gun and then drop yourself and hope you can catch it, then aim and shoot. Don't move. Also, it looks like you're out of ammo. Okie dokie. I've been waiting to run this one. I bought it quite a bit ago for the stream. Like I said, I don't particularly like the way these older games play, the way they move and all that. And yet, I actually really enjoyed Dino Crisis 1 and 2. Yeah, even Dino Crisis 1. I actually did enjoy that. I thought the T-Rex scare was better than the... Ah, okay, not better than the dogs going through the window. That was pretty fucking good. But I thought the T-Rex scare was pretty well done in Dino Crisis 1. Dino Crisis 2 was one that I think I looped through a few times to try to get the gear. Although really, it was Parasite Eve 2 was the thing I played the most. And I just could not get my speed down in that to get the good weapon. No matter what I did, I was rushing through the game as quickly as I could. It was never even close to enough. So I must, and I mean not even close, I must have been missing some major time skips. If I were equipped with the lighter, I could see outside. Is that a lighter? That's a playing man. Oh, look, a lighter! We'll check out the playing manual. Check. Playing manual. When you obtain a new item, always remember to look at it with the check command. It's a good thing I knew how to do that before you told me! You know, I will say that I think... It almost looks like there's anti-aliasing on the text here, or de-interlacing even, but I'm looking at it on my television. So it's not even something going through the capture card. This is just how the game looks. With the check command on the status screen. Because you guys are actually getting a different input than I am. I only, well, kind of. Like, the input from the console is S-Video. My television here is a newer one, so it doesn't have S-Video, because who uses that obsolete technique? Although my capture device does, so you're getting a little bit of higher quality than I am. I've just got a RCA composite video there. Remember, it's always best to rotate the item so you can check it from different angles. Look on the back, yes. If you try to face an object and then press and hold up on the direction button, sometimes you will be able to push it. You may find hidden rooms and items this way. Okay. You can turn 180 degrees instantly by pressing the cancel button while holding the direction button down. This is very effective when you need to attack an enemy and then want to turn around and run. When you are lost or unsure of what to do, check the map screen. You can easily tell where you've never been and can see which doors you have unlocked. Good. The map screen in the other games has been actually really well done. And a good map is critical for a game like this. Um, I especially love the way like 0 and 1 HD, how it marked... I think two, I think the others have done this as well. But it marks what rooms still have items in them as well. And yeah, the items aren't necessarily the uh, mission critical ones. It can be any item. But that is still damned handy to, to have, to know whether or not you've cleared an area. Or, you know, and then to know that you have cleared the area, so you, don't have to, so you don't have to go there anymore. You can easily climb to send some objects. To do this, face the object and then press the action button. I mean, you know what buttons are what. This is on a console. You know what the buttons are. This isn't like a PC game where the cancel button could be X, it could be, or it could be you know, B, it could be circle, it could be a keyboard command, it could be anything. 
Here, you know what it is. It's an Xbox, or excuse me, yeah, it's an Xbox controller on my PlayStation 2. I'm using a PlayStation 2 controller because it's on PlayStation 2. You can press the actual right, you can show me what, what button is what. The items you store in the security box in the prison area cannot be accessed through an item box. Make sure you remove all important items from a security box before exiting a room. Huh. So security boxes are not item boxes. What the fuck are they then? Oh, is this going to be a case where... I spend part of the game in the prison and then another part of the game elsewhere and I have to take what only I can carry from it. I have to leave everything else behind. Uh, didn't... Oh, which game did that? Was it the first one that did that or was that Zero? Alright, at any rate. Can we... Turn this thing around? No, because it's been used now. Well, let's take a look at the map. There's nothing on it. Oh, there's something in this room still. If I was equipped with the lighter, I am equipped with the lighter. Oh. Or not. What did I do? Okay. Oh, there we go. Everyone's dead. You can go. I'm going to be a zombie in about five minutes. You better run. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. And I don't know. It might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The truth has been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave. Complex. Assuming you survive! No chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Die. Don't worry about me. You're a real idiot, Claire. Yes, I will take the handgun bullets. Anything else in this room? Yes. My name is at the end. Rodrigo Ron Raul. I may not have remembered that last name. Nope, I don't want to leave yet. Why am I leaving? Go back in the room. I want to see things. Go back in the room. I want to pick things. Okay. We got typewriter ribbon and typewriter in there. It'd be really nice if there was a power switch somewhere. Hey, me set of capsules on the floor. It's empty. Did I leave anything in the cell? Yes, I did. Now, is that everything in the room? Nope. You know how much I hate playing dark games where I can't see anything. So this game starts off with a mechanic I hate. And oh, these controls. Oh, I had a knife. Yes. How am I done with the room? No. Okay. 
God, it'd be nice if things would, like, give you a little bit of sparkle to let you know you can interact with them. His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need medicine. I'm going to assume that he's the last thing in the room. And that if I get the medicine, I can either save him or potentially... I'll have to kill him and take something off of him. Take the ink ribbon. Yes. Would you like to use the ink ribbon? Sin a little bit. Oh. Oh, it doesn't. It shows you what room you're in. It doesn't show you if you've done everything in it. Ah, oh, crap. Well, let's make a save. Now securing space. Yeah, save the game t 15 minutes in. Or 5 minutes in, actually, because I spent too much time talking. Uh, hello? Does it take that long to write to a PS2 card? Good lord. It really does, doesn't it? Oh my, okay. That's what the problem was. Yeah, the problem was that had to create the actual base file, which I then can create the saves in. Fucking lovely. Okay, next area. Maybe? Oh, is that a loading screen that's taking this long? Oh lord, PS2, why? Oh god, can we get out of... Can we have some fucking light so I can at least see where I am? I mean, my god, I have a lighter in my hand even, and sometimes I can't see my character. The truck for use for transport. Oil is leaking out of the crash wreck. A dead body and a briefcase can be seen inside. Cool, can I get the briefcase? So it's leaking oil, and I'm holding a lighter in my hand. That's amazing. Oh god, I hope there's more light in this game. Okay! So there's fire, but no light. Okay, Claire, you've been in this situation... Well... Claire, you've seen these before! There was a whole game where you fought these off before. Why are you in a cemetery now? I mean, obviously, this is a memory. She's having Vietnam-style flashbacks. But for fuck's sake, when was... I don't think she was in a cemetery in 2, was she? I mean, let's be honest, 2 mostly focused around the police station. There aren't many graveyards around police stations. God, I hope not. What? Why? Why are you in a... What is this? How did I go from... WHY DOES THE PRISON HAVE A GRAVEYARD?! AND WHY CAN'T I EQUIP MY KNIFE?! NOW I CAN'T SEE ANYTHING! WHAT IS THIS SHIT?! HOW DO I ATTACK?! HOW DO I DO ANYTHING?! Hey, 
a gypsy a z sorry i didn't see you guys right away i mean the chat's kind of off to my side here okay this is the why am i playing i can't see anything i can't do anything They've got me surrounded to the point where I can't move. As soon as I try to move, another one grabs me. And I can't see where I'm going. What is this shit? I'm five minutes into the game and I just can't do anything. They've got me completely surrounded by zombies in the dark, so I can't even get away. This is how you open the game? If this was a demo, I would close the game down, and I would never play another game. I would never play more of this. Oh, my God. This just started. They've had, what? Three games before this, three, I might add, very successful games before this, where you could see your character and the environment. Yeah, Zero came out after this one, so this is just one, two, and three, and then this. And like I said, they were successful. Two and three were very successful, amazing games. First one had some rough edges. There was a director's cut that helped fill it out, made it supposedly better i didn't enjoy it and now this what happened are you gonna take me back to the typewriter <sighs> okay pause the game Pull out my case, open it up. What, the new one? Okay, unfortunately, Konami, man, I don't want to do Konami games because they copyright strike struck me on one of them. Let's see what the controls are. Since I do actually have physical instruction manual, I cannot complain that the game doesn't tell me what to do because this is from the era where the games had instruction manuals. And if I had any brains, I would have read this beforehand. But I'm so used to not reading these anymore. Let's see. What is the cancel button? Okay, X is confirm menu selection. Action. Square. Same as X. Are you fucking kidding? No, the, uh, um, here, watch, I'll show you. That's for the, oh. So the red line is not visible? No, so the color bar below the red line. I don't see a color bar below the red line. Holy shit. You guys can see it better, because you can see it right down to the red line, but yeah, you're right. On my screen, the it is cut off at like before the T. So I was like, I'm looking at the I'm looking at my monitor here and I'm looking over at the OBS, and those things you can see a lot further down than my actual monitor. So yes, my monitor is currently too dark. Let's try to set up this. Here's the problem. Universal remote. Oh, thank. I just I think I just fucked my universal remote up. Menu? There we go. Menu. No, no. What do you Stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Fucking, did I, did I? Stop. I cannot. Oh, there. Wow. Um, picture. Okay. Picture setting. Okay, first off, turn off the goddamn dynamic gamma. That is such shit. Where's back? Where's back? Back. 
That wasn't back. Picture. Okay. Dynamic gamma. Off. Off. There. God, fucking universal remotes are the worst. Okay, picture settings. Brightness. Problem is, I don't really want the brightness up because it makes everything too bright. I want the contrast up. All right, well, I've adjusted it on my end to be better. Um, I have no idea how to adjust it for you guys. Because you know, it's coming in through... It's coming in through an OBS thing, and I don't think I can actually set this up. Uh, properties. No, there, I don't have any gamma range for this. I'm sorry to say. No brightness range for you. So you guys are getting a bit darker image than you probably should. Is there any way from, is there any type of adjustment I can make a filter perhaps? Filter, add. I got color correction. That's not going to do it though. Uh, ooh, that might, that might. Let's try to adjust this up a little bit, guys. Oh. No. Why are you not? <sighs> okay, let's try doing, let's try doing that. And that. If I move it over here, can it? Can you see anything? I, I don't. I think I had. Doesn't apply it uh, dynamically. Okay. Did that do anything for you? Oh uh, no, I'm not doing knife only on my first playthrough. Sorry, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. But hello, greetings, welcome to the channel. Right now, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see the brightness better. No visible difference. Yeah, it's not showing it for you guys. It's supposed to be brighter. I mean, if I do this, does it keep? Does it adjust at all? I don't think it adjusts at all. Okay, well, hold on. Let's try the other one then. How about this button? So is this, does this, like, it's not doing anything for you guys at all, is it? Oh, great! It only works on that, okay. It's... Awesome! That isn't what I'm trying to put the thing on! There! That's better! <laughs> uh, I know you guys are seeing this live. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've I've undone it on that. I've undone it there, so it, it, that is back to normal. Oh, that made it a little. I think I made it a little too bright. Uh, how does that look for you guys? Is it, is it about at the, at the red bar now? I'm sorry I'm doing this live, guys, but kind of need, <laughs> at least I'm figuring out how to do it. Okay. Okay. We got this then. We got this. It's good. You guys can see it. It's about the bar. I'm, I'm putting my mouse over it like it works. Okay, so you guys can see it better. Excellent. So, back to the buttons. Uh, 
R1 is aim. That doesn't help. Where's attack? L1 is change target. R2 and L2 aren't used. Well, that's not freaking useful. What else have we got? We got the map. Yeah. Yeah. There's no option for it. Wait, what? Did it just dim again? Did it just dim again? Oh. How about now? That was that was the PS2 going into sleep or standby mode. Because it's been paused for too long. That would explain that. Um, weapon, weapon, item box, map file, blah blah, damage, partner. Okay, damage. No, that's damage to me. Hints. Oh my god, is that all the freaking? Cool. This is total. Ah, attack. Okay, you need to have a weapon to attack. You can aim. You can set up a certain weapons. You know that this thing does not tell you what button is actually for the attack? Let me read the entire attack thing here for you. Okay. You need to have a weapon equipped to attack. You can aim up down by pressing the direction button. Well, by pressing the direction buttons, left analog stick, up down while readying a weapon. You can equip a weapon in the status screen. When you use certain weapons, a scope screen, first person view, is displayed. In the scope screen, zoom in out the L1 button and move the target with the directional button, the left analog stick. There's no attack button! Confirm menu selection. A oh, attack and action. Uh, of course. Of course. There we go. Remember I said I wasn't used to these old games? The older... Um... Oh my god, I can see! I wasn't used to the older, and I didn't like the controls for the older Resident Evil games. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. Look at this. It's visible now. Kind of makes me want to redo the game from the beginning. Because that was, like, all black. I mean, you saw it. Like, even here, this part. Okay, it's brighter on my screen than it is for you guys, but... I see, you can see the stairs right now. You could not before. Oh, God, yes. It was too dark. Now it is actually visible. Mind you, on my screen, it's actually a little bit too bright. i got to turn the brightness down a little. Picture. Picture settings. Brightness. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, okay. I hope. Um, how is how is it on your guys' screen right now? Because, I mean, I'm looking at the OBS. The OBS looks good, but my monitor is still a bit dark. And I can always change that for you guys if you need to be able to see it better. That was a very dark game. You know what? I am going to raise it a little bit because it is not particularly well visible on my on my end. So let's make it just a little bit brighter so you guys can see what's going on. How's... How is it now? There. I think that is the stat I'm going to leave it at. Because it's, it's, it's more bright on my OBS, but over on my monitor, I can see a little bit of detail now. Not a lot, but like I can see the texture of the ground. And if I can see the texture of the ground, we've got at least some visibility. I hope it's not too bright for you guys now.
but it's a balancing act. What can I say? The game is significantly darker than it should be. Hey, let's try if I can see if I can drop this cutscene. I cannot appear to skip the cut. Oh, there we go. Hit select. That did it. Get off me. Okay, equip. Yeah, this game is just too damn dark. I do want to try to get the briefcase over here. So. <laughs> One of the zombies is running away from me. Okay, how badly hurt am I? Oh, that's kind of handy. Right, I'm fine now. Okay, well that's handy then. Where did that briefcase go? It briefcase went a different direction. Of course it did. Yeah, I noticed the run button. Ah. See what happens when I use run, though? I ran right into the fire. I do like that she is actually looking over at there. Nope, she's looking at the wrong thing. Where the hell did the thing go? Where's the briefcase? Yeah, that's the one that gives you a 180, right? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, she's got a handgun now. Wait, wait. Don't shoot. Who are you? You fucking kidding? There. I'm coming over. You shot at me, prick. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another Why is he a teenager? Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. That's beautiful. I said I was sore. Has he got a prisoner collar on his neck too? I was a prisoner on this island. Yes, he does. Why is he a teenager? You're not from Umbrella either. Oh god, please tell me he's not some kind of experiment that they've put psychic powers on. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I think there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! Why why can I see through him? What what is that graphics? Wow! Just shoot him! Seriously. This guy is going to cause your death several times in this game. Just shoot him now. Okie dokie. Let's take a look at my map. Unfortunately, the map doesn't highlight rooms that still had things in it this time out. Are you still alive? Well, I'm glad I checked the body. Of course, now he's going to come up and force me to use those, aren't... isn't he? Apparently, a dust box. Okay. Ah, this run button.
These controls. So I take it then, uh, Cortez. I hope I got that. I hope I pronounced that somewhere, somewhere close to correct. I take it you've played this before. Obviously, for giving me hints like, hey, the knife is actually effective in this one. Yeah, yeah it's of course it's locked. Why? So I'm glad to hear that because I think this is one that gets kind of overlooked and underrated. I mean, it's one that hasn't come back. Capcom, you're remaking the games. Remake this one. Can you imagine this game getting the Resident Evil 2 remake treatment? I want all the games to get the Resident Evil 2 remake treatment. Holy shit. Not the Resident Evil 3 remake treatment. The Resident Evil 2 remake. Actually make it faithful. I'm never going to stop raving about Resident Evil 2 Remake. It was so good. Ah, no. It's over here. No, oh, God. I've got to climb up and around to get that. Where's a fragging? Oh, these tank controls. Stairs! Oh my god, I have to push the button to climb stairs! I don't know, man. These games... Like I said, I, I wasn't a fan of the way these controlled back in the day. Never been a fan of the way the old games controlled, which is why I never really played them. And I had them. Well, I didn't have this one. Oh, look! He's gonna... Gonna get up and... Well, I wasn't expecting that. I know I'm walking. I'm going to spend most of the game in areas I don't know walking rather than running. Simply because if I run with these camera angles, something's going to kick my butt. Hey, Fox. No, no, I said the Resident Evil 2 remake was great. I wasn't talking about this game. No. Get off me! Oh, I... Ah! Mm! Another reason I don't like these games, man. The camera angles do shit like that. It intentionally... <sighs> How's my health? I'm still fine. They intentionally hide zombies around corners. So I'm not sure how well this game aged. Like I said, these old ones, the controls in them, and the cam... Yeah. Yeah. That's true, Vox. I still want to see this game get a complete RE2 remake treatment. It's completely nailed down. Impossible to get in. There's the door. It's going to take me a long time to figure this one out. I'm just going to say that. I'm not great at these games. 
Yeah, look! Stay down. How's my health? I'm fine. Combine with that. Well, I'm using up all my ammo already. Hey, Gypsy. Still not as good as the original. The, they're never going to top that original dog scare. So I don't think they're even trying. Ah! I'm going to be back on knives soon. Hear that squeaking noise? Not good. Oh, good. Ammo. Now, this is one thing about these games. Is, despite the limited resources they give you, most of the time, you have enough to get through the game. Like, it, it seems like your resources are super limited, but generally, yeah, you have enough health, you have enough ammo, you may be a little bit starved at one point or another, but they've never completely gotten to the point where you just can't do anything anymore, you're, you're done. And I do at least appreciate that. It feels like there's scarcity, but generally not. Yeah, okay, I will admit, I'm going to say this. I actually do like the first Resident Evil movie as a zombie movie, in a way. It's not like full zombie zombie movie. It's not as good as some of the other zombie movies out there, but... Yes, I will take the map. Thank God. But I found it highly entertaining. Okay, so I see locked doors. Is that what those mean? But I found it highly entertaining. There's some really good visuals in it. Holy crap. I'm sorry, like Grid Laser was awesome. The laser hallway was great. What else we got? I haven't seen all the other Resident Evil movies. The only ones I have are one and two. I want. I need to pick up that set next time I see it that has like all six of them on DVD at Walmart. All right, Prisoner's Diary. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based on the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today, Bob told me some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be attendant of the head of this place, the boss, named Alfred, supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th, without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the, the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I better pray for Bob. You're an idiot! It's a freaking guillotine room. It's an execution chamber. And oh, there's these large plastic bags. Yeah, they're body bags! May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone in, gone in there. What's going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. 
I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I'm next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? <sighs> this is going to be one of those games. I don't want it to be one of those games. Why is the writing this bad on a Resident Evil game? Die, that's what you're going to do. Yeah, pretty much. And yes, she did look amazing. <sighs> Fall down, stay down. Oh, there's another one back there. Oh, shit! I'm wasting all of my resources right now. All of them. The wrong button. It's like I don't know. I kind of like the. I kind of like Resident Evil 2 again. Like I say, you got something sparkling on you. What do you got? The fuck. What the hell is this? <laughs> Why do I have a super weapon at this point? Shower stall, shower stall, dead body, oh, not a dead body, ammo. I'm going to hold that weapon for a bit. Also, if all the prisoners were taken away from here, why are there so many bodies in here still? In the shower, I agree. Get away. Oh my god. So this is one where the zombies repop. Don't like repopulating games. All right, have I been? I have. It's time to get out of here, and then what? Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Why does it look like something's on fire out here? Okay, are there going to be more zombie dogs? Please don't be more zombie dogs. I can't do zombie dogs right now. It's been locked from the other side for the padlock. Of course they have. God, which one had the gator in it? Uh, I don't like that sound. Oh, right. To you behind the fence. I don't believe I can actually open this. Not that I would want to with the zombies behind it. 
two had the alligator? Okay, thank you. No, I don't want to go this way yet. I want to see if I can find that briefcase. Because before I can go this way, I have to drop my weapons. And the alligators were better than that one thing in the sewers in 3. Or the alligator. And I mean, it's that wasn't even out of place for Resident Evil. The first Resident Evil had the snake, the shark, the dinosaur. No, wait, that was Dino Crisis. Right. Picture of a hawk. So this is the other side of that truck, but I don't see the briefcase anywhere. Yeah, he's not breathing. I know he's not breathing. Okay, so that's the one from the other side. Ah, it's from the other side, too. It means at some point I'll be able to open that, maybe? Oh, look, something's moaning again. Can you get on screen so I can see you? There you go. Good job not being able to point at the ones on the ground. That's why you weren't pointing at the one on the ground, because you were pointing at the one that was still alive. Also, I just pressed a button to try to reload. I am definitely wasting all of my ammo in this. I should probably restart and pay more attention. But where is that? There, there's the briefcase. Can I even access it? No, I can't. I need a fire extinguisher to get it. At least I can see where it is this time. Hopefully these things won't repopulate again. Oh, fair enough, Xanth. Fair enough. This game does need to make a comeback, though. Because I would like to play this game with a more modern set. I, need, I definitely do need to replay 2 at some point. Because it's a lot of fun. The remake is, at least. Alright, it looks like I am going this way after all, so i got to drop my weapons off. Even that nice spangly new one I got. Alright, yes... Yes. Yes. Wait. Release the metal detector, but... What? Is it because I have a lighter on me? Freaking lighter. It was the lighter. Holy crap.
Oh, can I get him back here then? Oh, you bastard. All right, let's see what we got for the user's manual. Our new product, the 3D duplicator, consists of two parts. The portion that scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned into the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. If you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner. The conversion will be executed with complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. <laughs> wow. There's an activation switch. Push the switch? No, because I don't have any... You know what? Yes. Activating the enhanced 3D scanner. Oh, it's a scanner. Okay. Um... Can I... Menu. It's not going to let me. It's not going to let me choose what I want. I have to have a specific item. It's like, yeah, no. Let me put the first aid kit in here so I have infinite first aid kits. How about that one? Can I put ammo in there? Oh, please let me put ammo in there. Okay, these security boxes are designed so that it can give you literally a super weapon at the beginning of the game to play with and then deny it for you for the rest of the game. This is Fallout 4's power armor and Gatling gun all over again. Which, you know, this was much earlier than that, but... I would love to, but you don't give me a prompt to do it. Please set the material to be scanned. Size is too big, cannot be set. Oh, did I just fucking... Seriously? I used the first aid spray on myself? Rather than putting it in. Because when I pressed use here, it's too big. It can't be set. But I do the other one, and instead of trying to set it, it just uses it on me. Fuck you, game. This is why you need to have better prompts. God! It's making me want to reload that save and do this entire section again. Fax on the facility access application. They've got a goddamn replicator, but they still use fax machines. Be sure to verify the content of the following security access application form, and then add the applicant's name to the suspected visitor list. Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access to the permission in area D. Details follow. Carl Grisham. Carrying the following supplies. New product sample from Metal Industries TG01. Various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I gotta get that briefcase. 
with the TG01 and scan it into the machine. Can I please kill this guy now? Chris Redfield. Is my brother, yes. Of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your sibling. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? No shit. I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. Uh-huh. No way. He won't come. Nobody comes. No, there's not, Xanth. This game predates that. What was that all about? I'll try to turn it up a little. Oh, good. Hey, would you look at that? I found a key. I right, turned the game up a bit, so hopefully you can hear it better. Hmm. If only I had an ink ribbon. Obzoror. Obzar. Observation room. Management documents are stored here. Computer. Email to Leon has been sent. Here. Lock release. Because of course it is. Alright, so what's going to kick my ass this time? Okay, we got an alarm going off, because I see red light flashing in here. It's subtle, but I can see it. So you're going to make me drop my weapons in here, aren't you? Yep. You yep, how dare I have rockets on me. Oh! Dick move! Not even allowed to carry the carry the ink ribbon with me. Ugh. No. So has the fire gone out now? I have a feeling that accidentally using that first aid kit's gonna screw me. Or the first aid spray, I keep calling it a kit. On the other hand, it's entirely possible that I've already cleared this place out, even for the second time through. Because it doesn't look like it's repopulating again. Which is good, because I don't want it to keep repopulating. I can understand it repopulating once, because you got to go back through here anyway. And if I've already dealt with that, then I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Ah. 
fire better be out now. Oh, we got some repops still. I'm gonna keep hitting the triangle button for the menu, even though it's not. <sighs> yep, I'm killing, getting rid of the first aid spray is gonna do it to me. This fire had better be out. Son of a bitch! Oh, I can't even go back. Oh, okay. That's a door there. Is there a fire extinguisher in here anywhere? You know, in the hallway that you can't freaking see? Oh! No, it's dang. It's like, hey, there's a thing on the wall. That must be a fire extinguisher. No, no, it's not. Would have been nice. Alright, so is he dying now? Is he dead? I gotta pull it off of his corpse. No, he's left. Oh, no, there he is. So he's the one I gotta duplicate the medicine for. Clearly. Oh, nothing useful in here still. Oh, so I go from one useless room to another. Maybe I should reload my save again so I don't lose that life from all those zomblers. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of reloading the save and trying again areas in this. Alright, take that off. You're outside now. The lighter isn't doing you anything. Any good. not painfully linear all right so there's got to be a fire extinguisher somewhere that I missed probably hanging on a wall something dumb like that This place better not have repopulated also. Did I ever go up here? Yeah, I did. Is there a fire extinguisher in the kitchen? I don't want the soup covered in flies, thank you. Oh, hi! Yeah, it's a toilet. And as you see, one that probably doesn't get cleaned very often. Didn't expect to find that here. Okay. No, 
monastery doesn't really appear to have anything useful. I mean, it had ammo in it, but you used the ammo to get in and out of here. So was that really useful? It's one of those options where it's like, hey, if I go this way, I get more ammo. That I will use up having gone this way. Which makes it kind of pointless. That's from the other side, which I have a feeling is going to be how I get around these rooms, the security gates. Is it's going to be that particular fence. All right, hold on. So this says it's impossible to get through, right? Nope, can't remove the nails with that. Oh, hey, there's something on the wall here. What happens if I press it? Two zombies come out. Ow! Oh, all the zombies come out! Looks like I'm supposed to shoot the water heater, too. All right, you know what? That's four zombies. Let me actually try this thing out. On screen. How much did that use? Not even that much. Okay. So is this other one ever going to show up? It's pretty damn good. I hope I get more of it later. Oh, look, a fire extinguisher! What a shock! The thing I've been looking for. That's, ooh, something on the guillotine. There, see, game, spark the things that are uh, points of interest. Yes, a padlock key, even. Audio, well, oh, stereo, what are you doing? I don't know when it got changed to that. But it should be better now. Although I'm not even sure my... Im oh, yeah, that's in stereo. I went over to look at my input to see if it is in stereo or not. It, it is, it is. I mean, I got left and right channel plugged in. It better freaking be in stereo. Well, something's alive in here. And on a pogo stick. Did I just flip him off? Yeah, I'm, I'm really missing that first aid spray now. Is this going to be repopulated again? Yes, it fucking is. So I kind of want to go back to that first save. The very first save I did. In fact, if I die, I'm going to. I'm going to go back to the first save and redo this area a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm dead. Love the camera angles. That's really useful. <sighs> Yay! But I'm still dead because I don't have any freaking health anymore. Uh, pick it up. Why are you standing on it to pick it up? I gonna keep pressing that button because that's what I'm used to pressing. Check. Briefcase. There's a button. Push it. Yes, it opens. TG1 was inside. Also an explanation document. Product description. Thank you for your continued support for using our products. This time, we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have successfully created a unique anti-metal detection alloy, TG01. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors. Cannot be pictured by... Okay. A word I cannot pronounce right now. Reintogenography? Reintogenography? I don't know. Lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons using this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding business opportunities. Yes. So I can put this through the metal detectors. You know, the things that are designed to prevent me from doing just that. I am so pissed that the, that the spray got used. When I tried to duplicate it. I am so pissed at that. Because again. The use button was how you're supposed to do. Put it in the duplicator. But it didn't give you an option for that. It was just straight up. No you spray it on yourself. And of course, the save games in this are so far apart that I would have had to basically restart the game to, to get that one item back, which might be worth it at this point. Unless it will give me another health thing very shortly. Please deposit any metallic item you have in the security box. Clunky controls, very clunky. Use. Wait, what? Use. It's a material that's ready to be processed. It's useless to use it here. What am I supposed to do with this? I have a feeling I'm supposed to probably use it to hide an item. Buck.
Yeah, I was close. No, nope, won't let me do that. So then what is the point of having this item? What is the point of this metal? Like, there's nothing else to pick up on this side. Am I supposed to put the emblem in there? I'm going to take the emblem, I'm going to put it in the machine, I'm then going to use this alloy to make a new version of that emblem. Right? That what you're going to make me do? So then I'll have this emblem made out of the alloy and I can take it through the machine and have a key. Yup, 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 that's how I get the key out. Okay. Running time. Actually, I can probably leave the fire extinguisher behind. Alright, next thing it touches me is going to kill me. And when that happens, I'm going to resort from the first point. But you guys at least see how much progress I've made on my first attempt here. Damn repopulating enemies. The thing that really did it to me is the controls. The, um... Not exactly... You know, it wants me to do one thing, and then doesn't help me with that one thing. Or makes that one thing... Keep wanting to hit a, a reload button. Yes, yes, it is. Use. Hey, that opened. Can I go through it now before the zombie comes and kills me? Please have a first aid kit on this side.
That door's been destroyed. Please have a first aid kit over here somewhere. I'll take freaking herbs, anything. Gotta press the button to go downstairs. That is so stupid. Okay, well, there's ammo on that side. Oh, God, herbs. Get the other one. Combine. God, it only put me up to caution. Combined, it only put me up to caution. Oh, don't tell me I still need that fire extinguisher. I still need the fire extinguisher. Wait, 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 what's that? Nothing. This is an errant pixel is what that is. Because why would I be able to leave the fire extinguisher behind? That's not reload. This isn't one of those games. Get in the door. Do I hear more zombies? I hope I'm not hearing zombies. <sighs> Tank controls. Can you believe we used to play games with these? Deal with you later. Because if I had health, I could actually go down this hall with the knife, clear the zombies, then reopen the hall. I'm getting tired of painting on doors. Man, I wish one of those herbs had been had been red. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Quit repopulating, please. You're gonna make me run back and forth to do stiff. You can either give me more ammo and supplies and health. Or just quit repopulating them. You just punish new players that way. That's all you're doing. Oh, 
Empty extinguisher! So it's a waste of time anyway. Alright, I guess I push this now. To go up and over over here. Alright, that's what I was supposed to do. Oh yes, yeah, stairs. God, that is so lame that I have to press a button to climb stairs. This is why, though. Because some of the stairs are a room transition. Let's waste all this ammo, I guess. Cool, shoot at a guy I can't even see. distance. Look at this fog. Oh, crap. So it's bad enough the cameras hide the things. But now you're just hiding them on screen by not rendering distance. By not having enough render distance. No. It's going to come out of ammo soon. And there's going to be no freaking way to recharge it. And I'm going to be dead soon. Oh, wait. There's something on the ground over there. Navy seal proof. Hmm. That kind of looks like a place I've been before. I'm going to have to use them just to have more inventory space. I can't drop this anywhere. I would have left it, but I thought I needed it again, so I went back and got it, wasting resources to do so. Hey, look, it's a Resident Evil game, and we're inside a mansion again. Can I have an item box now, please? Not here. Do I hear... I do hear bats. <gasps> oh, first aid spray. No, I can't take any more items. I need an item box of some sort. I need to be able to dump this garbage that I have. It's electronically locked. Nothing useful. Enter an employee ID to act to activate the device unlocking.
employee ID number. Okay. What's on file? Playing manual. Uh, you? I need an ID. It didn't give me any IDs. That's the same one I just read. No, it wasn't. No ID. I thought that first one might have an ID on it, but no luck. No, it's not a box. What? Is that ammo? I can't pick it up anyway. Wrong button. Also the wrong... I, I, I love it. I finally want to check the map. And I hit the wrong button for the map. It's like, finally, I want to check the map. <laughs> Typewriter. Oh, please tell me there's an item box in here. Ammo. Combine with you. Equip. Let's actually put these guns away so I stop wasting them. Typewriter ribbon. And unfortunately, I am going to have to stop here for the day. I've made it this far. I mean, I didn't think I was going to. Thanks to wasting the one first aid. But I'm back up on health. Wasted a lot of ammo. It's been a lot of waste. That happens on your first playthrough. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately... Even though I haven't managed to play that long today, thanks to the little bit of delay at the beginning and such, I do need to pause here for the day. This game is going to be rough. The early Resident Evil games are very rough and difficult to play, which is why even though I picked up the PlayStation Resident Evil 3 on my PS3, yeah, I know, 3, not 4, not 5, I still just have a 3. Even though I picked that up, I still haven't gone to play it because these controls just turn me off of these games. And yet, like I say, I played a I played Dino Crisis and enjoyed it. Played Dino Crisis 2 several times. I've enjoyed it. I played a lot of Parasite Eve 2 and I enjoyed it. But the Resident Evil ones just rub me wrong for some reason. And they're the same game. Just zombies instead of dinosaurs. Which is why a lot of people really want to see Dino Crisis get the Resident Evil 2 remake treatment. And I agree with them, absolutely. But I would genuinely like to see this one come back first. I have no idea why they're redoing 4. I get why they redid 2 and 3. Because those ones were not available on, on modern systems. The only way to play them were the old versions, just like this one. The only, only way to play this is the old versions. This was on Dreamcast and PS2, I think. That was it. And I'm playing the PS2 version. So this one deserves a remake. Especially a lot sooner than 4 does. Because 4 four's on the freaking Switch. I mean, come on. If it's playable on the modern systems... Maybe go back and get one of the ones that isn't. 
whatever. Capcom is Capcom, and they're going to do Capcom things, which don't make sense, but they're going to do them anyway. And I guess I'm just going to have to enjoy this game this way and see it. I am looking forward to it. I'm hesitant because these games are somewhat punishing. You saw that, how I've made mistakes, several mistakes, wasted several resources already. But I do want to see where it goes from here. I hope I shall be able to continue. I shouldn't have gamed over myself yet. We shall see. But yeah, till next time, hopefully I'll be able to get more time in too. Till next time, take care, Internet. Enjoy the games you play.